Hey Peter, is that you? Come on, Stephanie, Isao, Didier and Silvano are already here. In Italian, Neverland is translated as the island that isn't there. That's why we've always thought of Venice as your island. No, what you see is not your lost shadow. They're just moving images. They're dreams and memories written with light. You know, we adults forget about you, just as you forget about us as soon as you turn your back on us. But suddenly you see a figure crossing the door of oblivion, carrying an image. Even the artists no longer know what it means to be half human and half bird like you, Peter. But they know how to draw shapes in the dark without fearing that others will see them or that time will consume them. Peter Pan is like a bird, free to spread his wings and leave the maternal nest. He's part of nature and he guides us to reconnect with it. But he's free from what? From whom? Is freedom real? A perpetual present means a timeless time. Peter Pan is always young and with no responsibilities. But without history, there's no evolution and the facts of life repeat themselves. This is the beauty of nature. One flower blooms after another. But can human beings resist the will of power and accept eternity? Maybe the other side of Neverland is in Greece where Eros and Thanatos meet, as in the ancient tragedy. Peter Pan and the artists try not to cross these two thresholds, living in a time lying somewhere in between. I'm Peter Pan, declares the artist. My shadow is free to fly like a butterfly. And who are you? Animals? Pirates? Mermaids? You're the shadows of yourselves, shadows imprisoned in reality. We're waiting for you on our Neverland.